This is where it's starting, I guess. Skip the airport. Uh, same old shit as usual. In Essen. Really not much going on. Not much to fucking write home about. Oh. Why is my window open, first of all? Because I'm trying to AC this place up. They almost... They almost didn't have my room for me, or they had the reservation marked wrong. They said, well, we can still get you a room, but it's not going to have AC in it. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Turn that temp down. Get this shit fucking freezing in here. Not much to talk about tonight. Not Good morning from Germany. 6.30 a.m. I can't sleep. What I found very interesting, part of my difficulty in sleeping, this is it. You, each side, even though there's just one me, gets separate blankets, but there's no sheets. There's no sheets. This is what you get. There's no sheets. Down comforter, and there's no sheet. There's no in between. So you're either freezing or you're sweating. That's getting sticky, and then you're sweating again. I don't know. I'm gonna actually go for a run, try and lose some of this weight. All right, I'm back for my run. Part of what makes these European hotels awesome, you can still open the window all the way. I am out here on the front porch. Balcony view. Who would have thought that this is what I have here in Germany? Uh, the only thing that's creepy, I should get back in my room though, because the neighbors, it's like not just my window out here. So if I go walking down there and there's like, you know, people in their room, it'll get really creepy. I guess I'll just kick it here, but man, if I had some weed to smoke, this would be the spot. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, Back at rehearsals, 10.30 a.m. Being that we're just rehearsing today, there's not too much exciting stuff, but I'll give you a little tour. It's kind of interesting, I think. Don't know. This is the monitor world, the uh, front of house sound section. I don't even fucking know what half this stuff is. Here's LJ. I know we all know LJ. There he is. Today's cooking, making salmon on the grill. I've become a chef out here on the road and got some green beans, some roasted fire peppers. Look at those steaks that I par cooked up there. Just waiting for the crew to finish. They're out here through this window doing harder work than I'm doing in here but that is true Prague been a hell of a day got our coloring books in they're all fucked up not only do we not have the coloring books to deliver as we were trying but now we need to get them reprinted ASAP and sent out it's just fucking depressing you're sitting here arguing with people that fucked you up I always call get it approved talk to somebody just fucked me and didn't, there's no note of ever talking to this lady. It looks like it never happened. I don't know. It, I can't even, I'm so fucking pissed right now. I have to load in in an hour and a half. In the meantime, I've called an Uber to Prague Castle. Never been. I could see Prague, or at least parts of it, or see something cool because where we are, down this fucking desolate street, there's the club in that white building there. Good news, guess who's coming to the castle with me? Green. <laughs> We only have about 10 minutes at this castle. Is that boba tea? There is weed around here, but we don't have time to get it. Panda 1000. The marvel Ooh. of 1982 technology. Look at that Fiat. Yeah, man, people love Fiats. They never seen this one. Woo! All right, all right. Yeah. No, the camera can't do this justice, but these train cars, look at them, dude. They look like they're straight out of like the fucking 18th century. I don't even know what that means. Careful when you use history that way. Wrong. Yeah, I don't know what was going on here in the 18th century. I have a YouTube channel too, so okay. I, I like to record everywhere that I'm going. Yeah, they said we're coming to Prague, but then they said if we're here, we won't see Prague. Okay. You know? That's nice. Am I supposed to know you? No, no, no. Nice. We have Studio 54 here as well. Oh, okay. It's a lame copy of the old <laughs> one. A lot of druggies. <laughs> nice. But it's my well, favorite place. Speaking of druggies, is weed easy to get here? I've heard mixed things. Some people say they sell it right in town. You can buy it in town. It's not very good quality. Eight solid minutes. Freak. Solid to the castle. It's right around this corner. I'm a mega tourist, man. Like, I want to see all the sights. You want to get food? You want a bubble waffle? All right. I mean, yes, I do, but I'm not. Look at the guy walking. Maybe it's security. I have a knife on me. Interesting. Do you really? I do. He's giving up his knife. Yeah. Damn, that oh, put you it by a tree, dude. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah, no, we're getting on the way back. Nice. That's not leaving Prague without my nap. This is beautiful, dude. Oh, yeah. It looks like Hogwarts. I love the tour flag. I like your flag. Very cool. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Where are you guys from? China. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> That's awesome. We're from New York. Mm -hmm. Chinese dragon, mm -hmm. five claws, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Yeah. Japanese dragon, three claws. Three, right, yeah. See? Oh, yeah. Well, enjoy, guys. Nice mm -hmm. meeting you. Yeah, you too. I don't even know this can do it justice, dude. 
These are standing guards. They're not allowed to move. That's it's ill. Filmed, it's it's terrifying. This is all what's happening. I just think there's mad people coming this way. Yo, those standing guards are terrifying. There's something weird about just dudes in military suits just standing there. I'm very intimidated. I didn't want to film them very that long. That was the point. That's Honestly. The point. This is beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, look, yes. look at these fucking statues, maybe. Oh, wow. This is insane. We have like six minutes. Ooh, almost fell. This is the Prague Castle, because it's in Prague. Very creative name. On the inside, what we Westerners would call a church. That's all I got. Let's take a loop around and then we'll head out, dude. I gotta take a, oh wow, look at that. Dude, where are we right Dudes have straight Uzis. I feel like we're in like the Venetian in Vegas. Me too, I don't even know I'm gonna take pictures. Greek, we'll have someone take a picture of us. Excuse me, picture of me and my friend? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Thank you. Oh, nice, nice, Greece. cool, man. Nice, Greece. cool, man. And New York. <laughs> Greek, you're going with Greece, huh? You're pretending you're just not even from America. Oh, no, totally. No, no, no. I like that. I, you see, I tossed on the accent. Greece. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Greece. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. This, I'm glad. Look at this angle. Holy shit. Oh. You gotta have a ticket. Oh. We don't got tickets, we got three minutes. We're leaving. It was good seeing Prague Castle. I gotta look up why it's called Prague Castle. It's obviously... Greek's hitting up the gift shop. Greek, we're gonna be late though. <laughs> what? You can buy a helmet? How much? I don't know, but it's all plastic. 459 check. It's it's like 47 cents to the dollar. No, it doesn't even fit. My head's too big. Wait, what do you mean? Your, your head doesn't... Wait, to open the open the front of it, you're fucking Iron Man, dude. Look at that. All right, I'll cop him. <laughs> okay. Buying the sword pen. Nice. I'm afraid to wear this with those soldiers out there. Um, pretty psyched. This is, I, I'm the only one out of all these hundreds of people wearing a helmet. I don't I mean, understand there's it. there's a reason for that. You, <laughs> you want me to spell it out, bro, Ham? <laughs> you think more people would be rocking the helmet? It's a little hot. Going, check it out. I'm going to Japan. I'm leaving Orlando, going straight to, because Teddy's already going to be there. We're going to Osaka and Tokyo. Wait, did we come in this way? Mm. No. Damn it. We're lost in the castle. We didn't equate for this time. How do we get out of here? Oh, it's this way. It's that way, yeah. dude. And now we're going back. Now, I don't want to intimidate any of these soldiers on the way out. I don't know if I should take my hat off. Don't take your hat This off. way, where the people signs are. No, I don't want to. I'm terrified. Right there. You can just... Okay. This thing really doesn't fit my head very well. There's Ern doing his part. Wait one more second. Ready? Hold there. Stand still. Yeah, I've been to Washington, D.C. Where you go? Stayed at the St. Regis. Greek with the hidden knife. Look at him. Look at him. I'm not hanging with this criminal. I'm staying up here. Dude, there's lime scooters. We could also scoot. This is really... Dobri Den is hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. DQ. 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 We're here for music. 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 Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah, we... Yeah. We uh, work with the band. Crew. Uh, I don't know how to explain. Backstage here in... Um, fuck am I? Prop. This is the back alleyway. I love these cars that are just hanging. Some graffiti. Nothing too interesting there. There's an art gallery. You wanna check out the art gallery? Look at this on the roof. What up, Shred? What's up? What's the catering? Catering? And then on these little dots here are shelves. They're shelves. Are you allowed in here? I guess you are. I have no idea what this. Oh, that's my shadow. That freaked me out. Oh. Okay, I think that's about it. Ahoy! Roxy, what are you doing? I came up here to drop off 
stuff for Brandy. She's got a ship. A couple of things. This morning, kettlebell workout. I gotta start swinging my kettlebells around because it's kind of ridiculous. I haven't like moved my body enough and I can feel it like slowing me down. In the morning, I gotta get your fucking chi raised. So when I talk shit on Twitter, I'm basically lifting kettlebells in between. That's my new plan. Been eating a lot of vegetarian shit lately. And I gotta be honest with you, it is uh, definitely making me put on weight for sure. And this is exactly when I was the fattest I've ever been in my life because I was vegetarian. As bad as I feel for the fucking animal, as bad as I fucking feel for all of it. Don't want to be wasteful. Your boy's gonna eat some meat because like I can like feel it. Feel it. My plan this morning when I got here, before I got here, was to drop this off, go buy a window unit AC. I might still go do. They say they just rebuilt this whole AC. Still don't think it's gonna be pumping cold. Brandy's coming to ship. Footage coming in from Dirty Urn, I can't believe it. Go buy some steaks, go home and cook them shits, and decide where I'm gonna draw and paint. Cause I woke up kind of frustrated this morning about this place. Cause I'm renting it and I don't wanna spend any fucking time here. It's annoying cause it's a waste of fucking money. I wanna get this painting done, I wanna design here all day, get out of the house. Dogs are driving fucking crazy and I can't even do it. Been annoying, hopefully it's fixed. Clean up, go grab shit. I totally failed at this uh, food segment because I'm pretty sure I forgot to record the steak. I was so hungry that I just fucking destroyed it. It was good. It was cooked perfectly. You're just gonna take my word for it. I'm here about to finish up my schedule. It's like literally all I talk about anymore is how much scheduling I have to do, but it is impossible. So, oh, there's a lot going on, guys. I don't know. All I know is this. My brain is full of mush. I have a lot of shit that I keep putting off. So what I'm gonna do is put it off even longer and we'll go to the movies with out. I did some extra petty shit and bought the tickets next to us as well. And then my plan is, is you can cancel. This is so shitty. You can cancel tickets like pretty much up to the minute that the movie starts through Fandango. So I'm going to cancel them, the ones next to us when the movie starts. But it's my effort to not have people all up in my shit because it's an opening night for a movie. I know it's super petty and probably shitty of me, but I did it. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit it. The kitchen. We're going to check it out. It's rated terribly on Rotten Tomatoes, but you know what? Once upon a time in America, Hollywood, whatever. Once upon a time in Quentin Tarantino's puberty is rated like 85%. So the people on Rotten Tomatoes opinion means absolutely dick to me. We've come together as a couple and decided no more guest dogs. I love dogs. I don't like other people's dogs as much as I like mine. You're a sweet dog. But you're kind of a pain in the ass. And you've knocked this over twice. Broke one nail. You've been expensive. You got your foot cut. Don't curl up in a little ball. Don't hide from the camera. Don't hide from the camera. What are you hiding for now? Huh? Why are you hiding now? Don't hide. Don't hide, you pain in the butt. Pain in the butt, dog. Hold on, let me abuse you for YouTube real quick, all right? <laughs> ah, oh no, oh no. What did I do? <laughs> the story had potential. It was a good story. Agreed. Pretty rushed, which made it move pretty quickly which I enjoyed. It's definitely like a super sterile, women empowered Absolutely. <laughs> mob. It's like a dumbed down mob movie for women. And I don't mean that in the way that women are dumb. I just no, mean no, that no. they've like got a lot of like really stereotypical mob shit. Yeah, a lot it, of the cats. And it didn't go in depth like you, like yeah, I not, would have liked to hear. Like, not like, there's not much character development at all. No. And the acting is pretty terrible. Whoever it is who did what, the O.J. Simpson and the Versace, they had done a series. Well, that's, that, I mean, anybody can say that about anything. If you do a mini series of any story, it's gonna be better. I'm talking about the movie <laughs> that was made. Alex at the moment. Yeah, the deaths are super campy. You mean, like, Every single death is like super campy. Like it's really campy the way they kill everyone. Yeah, I guess you're right. Kind of dumbed down just in general. Like yeah, it's but just it like was... very watered down crime movie. Absolutely. But it was also written, <laughs> by directed a woman. by a woman. Mm -hmm. All major women and every man in the movie was a piece of shit. It was very 70s though. Yeah, the liberal 70s. The uh, costuming and set oh. design was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Quentin Tarantino level detail, I would say. Uh, surpassed. Surpassed. What's Ooh. her name? Melissa. Uh, yeah. She looked amazing. Yeah, but it's hard to take her seriously. At all. It is hard to take her seriously, but she looked beautiful. Her hair. Fantastic. All right, let's do it. I give it a 5.6 out of 10. I'll give it a 7. What the fuck? <laughs> It's easy to please me. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Alright. We're headed to the shop in the back alley. Get this fucking pothole, bro. I'm gonna come fix it one day. Oh. Alright. We're going to meet Christian. We're literally two blocks. Uh, we're going to meet Christian. I probably could have walked. We're going to meet Christian to see if he's actually going to go through with working on his stomach. 
consecutively like this, which would be insane if he does it and can make it through. Some people can do that. Like I can plan out tattoos where you can come out for a few days and we can get a lot of work done, but it's gotta be mapped out in a way to manage your pain. Getting tattooed is painful. The number one thing for getting good tattoos, number one, before even like, you can search out the artist's best line work, best coloring, best ideas, the nicest guy in the world, girl, what have you. But if your ass can't sit still, it ain't gonna matter, bro. It's a relationship and Christian did great. Like Christian crushed it. He sat amazingly for what he got. It's all about that pain management. So your tattooer should help you manage that pain. I do a lot of things to help manage it. One, a comfortable environment. Two, I don't listen to a lot of music while I'm tattooing, really at all. Just a few other things, but anyway. Back for round two. Let's see how it goes. It looks, good. <laughs> it looks good though. I feel like it didn't get swollen as much as I thought. Nah, my like tattoos so. pretty heal pretty. Like it shouldn't even really peel. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like, like I kind of dry. It's just the sore down yeah. because that was. Yeah, it's like a high friction spot. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Let's see what we get down. Let's go smoke this blunt. Finished tattooing early, that didn't take long, like 30 minutes. I knew he wasn't gonna last, cause uh, that shit sucks. Somebody's camera is a tripod. Somebody else's camera is part of the tripod. All right, um, download the Dirty Urn German footage. Jeremy Urn. I did not hold the hack last night at the movie theater. So last night I had the idea, I really don't like going to the movies because people drive me crazy when they're close to me. And like, you know, I don't know, like eating, Next to somebody you don't know, it's kind of weird. You know, when they're like this close. Like last time I was at Alamo Draft House, a dude took his shoes off and then put his feet on the table next to me while I was eating. So it's like, I want to fucking beat the shit out of people when they do that, but I'm not a violent person anymore. So I usually just leave. So this time I bought four tickets for the movie. In hindsight, after thinking about it even more, again, it's a very, very sterile, stale, digestible movie. Still better than Tarantino one. But anyway, uh, I thought about it as I was sitting there and I just kind of felt bad. Like I was, I don't want, like I felt shitty for scamming them or trying to scam them. The theater was damn near empty. Uh, there probably wouldn't have been anybody next to us either way. The hack probably would work, but they do check. The hack would probably work, but it's kind of shitty. And I just paid for four tickets to <laughs> go see a movie for two, which was really stupid. But, you know, sometimes being stupid costs you money. Just what it is. Although the people next to us kind of benefited too. Like I basically, a, an extra seat gap between us and the people next to us. So they probably appreciated the space too. So I kind of paid it forward by buying the extra seats, you know. Next time I do that, I'm just gonna invite two friends. Um, that's it. My schedule is done for Florida. No tats for the rest of the next two weeks off by design so that I can design. We have another lookbook coming. Friends and family, other shit should start shipping. We're probably gonna start shipping Thursday, Friday, so you're gonna get lookbooks. It's gonna start feeding itself. So we have that going on. Stickers are shipping. The new coloring books are gonna be here soon, hopefully. Probably sending out the old ones to you guys tomorrow, Monday. Just send you the new one, the correct one too. Pretty ridiculous. And then Orlando is just crazy. We leave on the 4th. A lot. Then a bunch of tattooing the last week of August. And then Florida. Back here for more tats. And then Japan, dog. Well, that's it for the shop today. I guess we'll go home and see what's going on. You wanna waste time on Twitter, Ted? Weights too. You know what I'm saying? Just do something. Can't just work out our minds, you know what I mean? Yo. Well. Let's see. You walk in, there's blood. There's no uh, dog missing. Well, I have a feeling Alex is at the vet. What you got? Nope, drop that. Drop it. This isn't for dogs either. What the fuck? Out here eating fucking heroin balloons? There's no heroin in this, but it's some toy Alex made. You guys can't sit here. I don't know what she's thinking. I got a fucking price shoes. That's why I came home. Steak is in. The peppers are fucking blistering. You're back. It wasn't the dog's foot <laughs> that was bleeding. It was the rabbit's foot. So Alex took the dog to the vet because she had an appointment and the rabbit went too because Alex maybe trimmed her nail too short, I guess. I have no idea. I'm cooking. I also heard from a proxy. So I've been under like some low key stress that I haven't been talking about lately. Uh, Jay, my friend who was in prison, been in solitary for the last, I don't know how long now, but it's been a while. 
basically I haven't heard from him. I got a letter like a couple of weeks ago and he was in good spirits when I heard from him then. And I was starting to get a little worried. Someone called on his behalf. Let me know he's getting out of solitary on Tuesday and that they're moving him again. So shit is almost over with. We got like another year of it, but it's uh, fucking annoying. You cute. It's your fucking terror. <laughs> no. Hey. Uh-uh. Hey. Back up. Get back in line. Back in line. Hey. Nope. Nope. You guys are fucking up formation, son. Everybody sit. Sit. Roxy. Hey. Sit. You see everyone sitting? Sit. Roxanne. Sit. Thank you. D Nobody move. Wait. Everyone wait. 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 Roxy. What? Nope. Go. Go. Wait. Roxy. All right, go. That's good enough for you, Jesus. Good job, guys. Go to dog stuff. Gotta get back to price. Okay, it's Sunday. This morning we went and bought a new washer and dryer. Full disclosure, our washer has been broken. There is a miscommunication between me and Alex about what to do with it. They're nice. Samsung, they're gray. No idea where the vlog left off last night. Don't even remember. I ate an edible. And I literally, I know we watch TV and shit and I drew, but I don't. Oh, I, I did the price list. That's what happened, you know? When you're getting back used to a diet, you gotta ease in. It's hard just to go cold turkey. Even though I do feel like making the decision is like that, but kind of weaker in my old age. It takes me a minute. But today I went to the McDonald's drive-thru and bought fries on purpose and didn't eat any of them. You know what I mean? I just drove around with them for like 20 minutes to test myself. I didn't eat a single one. The Airbnb is in full operation. There's people here every day now. It's starting to move. It's going crazy. It's already booked up. The link is live. I'll put the link in this description. Pretty much shoe sale soon. Public drop for already sent out for friends and family. Next Saturday, uh, friends and family, you will get access to this stuff again uh, starting Monday, tomorrow, as I film this. So you'll have all week access at that. What's left over from that will go live for the public. Oh, it's teddy.com. Saturday at noon. Denver time. Shoe sale goes live for friends and family first. Is there anything else? I don't know. I'm sure there is, but I can't remember. We're waiting on a few things. Most of all, I have this text. Well, I have a call, a drunk call from Ern that a few minutes ago. We're, wait, we're waiting on some footage. So I'm going to say goodbye. Say hello to Ern in Germany. I think he's in Germany. In the background, this is song from an Monday a.m. and me and my man Zach are headed, headed to head check out to my another cash. This is it? Great. Okay. So we've been dropped off. Why did he take us up? Is this it? What is this? I'm not going down there. No, me neither. This is fucking weird. <laughs> Last time I listened to a fan, <laughs> he's gonna be waiting behind here like Zach. There's no castle. I just had a few questions. I just wanna you. wear your skin. <laughs> just... Oh, please don't, man. We're in trouble. He's... Okay, DK! Czechoslovakian, baby. Uh, DK is thank you. Czechia, right? Czechia. But why would he drop us off? I think that's oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, you're feeling this way or the other way? Yeah, that looks like a up above something. Out here in the dark. Dude, we're kind of alone. This is the lookout and then the castle. This is kind of cool. It's not as epic as I expected. Yeah, like, it's like this is one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. Like, dog, we're on a river. I get it. But I, where's the, like, I wanted to be looking at castles. I'm telling you, he's going to be waiting behind this tree. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. Maybe we'll come around this corner and be at the castle and be psyched. Yeah, this is, what a waste of a fucking, I'll go back. Yeah, I'll go back. We got Maker's Mark, dog. Yeah, this is better. What a fucking shitty recommend. You know what, though? There's something we're missing, and maybe you need to do it during the day, because even LJ, who is the tour guide of tour guides, was like, it's really cool. There's a snake statue that comes out of the river and yeah. shit. But yeah, we can't see it. I don't even know if the camera can see me. No one can see anything. Vlog's over. We're still alive. That's it. Vlog's over again. I'll tell you what, that was adventurous for being no adventure. <laughs> Thrill of like we might get killed out here. Yeah. That was the fun. Maybe that's what he wanted to send us on. When that, especially when that dude started walking up the middle of the street towards us. No, you were, you were like, I think my camera can be used as a way. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Good morning from Vienna, Austria. Home of Bach, Beethoven. Mozart, or I don't know, all of them, but a lot of those composers. It's about fucking, I don't know how hot it is. I've been walking about a half a mile. We have to get our show clothes done for laundry. 
So that Polish family walking right there literally saved me. This fucking thing is not taking cash, which is all I have. Or it doesn't take a card that you swipe, you need a chip card. Now I know I'm gonna get roasted for not having a chip card in this day and age. I don't, I wish I did. Gave him cash and he paid for me. Also, I can't read any of these instructions. Oh no, there is, there is, there is uh, English under here. So maybe I can. This dude at the club told me no laundromat and it would take six, seven hours. Things seem pretty, uh, pretty modern. So we'll see what happens. It's so hot in here. You already know though, we got knoppers. Oh yeah. What are we gonna do here? Are we going Coca-Cola? I almost feel like a Red Bull. I don't think I have enough. You know I love these vending machines. Nothing like a can dropping right before you open it. An interesting technique, but got my knoppers. It's like 10 cents change. I don't need it. Snip card. That's weird. This thing is like a, a waffle of love. A little life lesson though to be learned from this laundromat. Don't listen to what people tell you because 80% of people are fucking lazy. They don't want to do their job. They don't want to fucking care. I get to this venue this morning. Dude tells me there's salmon nowhere in the city of Vienna, Austria. Like it's just impossible to get cooked salmon. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. That sounds crazy, but okay. And then I ask him where a laundromat is. And, oh, there's none and, and they're nightmare stories. You go there, you'll be sitting there for hours, maybe the whole day. Dryers don't work very well. Most people do laundry in their home here. Yeah, well, most people do laundry in their home in the fucking States too, but there's also laundromats just like here. So it's Wi-Fi here. I, I honestly, now I wish I brought the computer. It's probably faster Wi-Fi than I fucking had at the venue, which was dial up yesterday. Same reason Teddy still doesn't have the content. Hopefully I get back to this venue and upload all of this is the plan, but it's got a shit ton of footage, but uh, yeah, don't listen to people. People don't want to do extra work. People don't want to do their job. People want to do just enough to get by, and that's why these people are still in shitty positions doing shitty things. You gotta fucking give it your all. You gotta figure shit out for yourself. Over and out from the laundromat. I don't like apricot. Maybe I'll do this donut. Yeah. 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 Yeah, pretty. Well, wait. Okay, no, I'm gonna switch it up. I don't want to do the food from America. What do you guys suggest? No, no America. I want different. Wiener's different. I'll I love one of them. Do I put it on a roll? That works. Dry meat. You know, but it's delicious. I'll have that. Okay. All right, I'll have them both. I'll, I'm ready. Complimentary food. Thank you from my friend. How you say, danke? Yeah, danke. 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 Thank you. Oh, hey, I'll film you. Some people don't like to be on camera. Yeah, my man. Nice, Red Bull. I, I need a Red Bull. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a nice weekend. I will, thank you guys. Nice, nice meeting you. All right, what nice people. The bread first, I guess you don't need butter or anything. It's just kind of a roll. It's whatever. It's like whole wheat and cheese, but this thing, this is like the biggest Slim Jim. I've ever had. People hate us out here. I just waved at those two dudes and the guy went. So, it's okay. Um. I, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like an extra fatty hot dog that's cold. And I don't know, there's like a good flavor to it like a hot dog but it's also so cold that I got a hot dog on a bun. I don't know. Balling in Budapest. Wow, that's weird that the TV's doing that. I mean, I've seen it do some weird shit, but that's really weird. Day off, hopefully I do some city exploring. I've got some work to do, phone calls to make. I'm trying to enjoy the day a bit and see the city. My neck is stiff as shit because I bumped my head on the roof of the bus because these double-deckers, you have to crouch down and you're not used to them from the American buses. So I got out my bunk and stood up and poof. But anyway, today, in the lap of luxury here, the Grand Budapest Hotel. This is just one wing here. I was on a little search for trees. I didn't want to bring the camera. It's, it's not looking good here, I gotta tell you. It's funny, it's like, you're from these countries and you know people, it's easy. Like, Budapest, no problem, you'll find weed right away. And it's like, you ask people here and they're like, uh, no. Also found out you can't drink in the street. Found out the right way, I asked. But a lot of European countries, you can. Now, same thing, they tell you you can't, and then I pass eight people drinking in the street. I ain't trying to risk it with all that, plus I'm not even that big of a drinker. How are, are you open? Oh, cool. Can I, uh, we want, like, what's Hungarian liquor. We want to keep it trying to do Hungarian stuff while in Hungary. Uh, my English is not good. So. Oh fuck. Liquor, shot, Hungarian. Hungarian, fine. Yes, thank you. Can I see the bottle? Yeah. 
And what is it? Like, uh, is it like uh, whiskey or? Uh, uh, it's not, not same. Not same. All right. We'll fucking, we'll give it a try. I'm down. This is that real shit right here. Thank you. Uh, cursing him. Cursing him. I'm, I'm working on it. Trying. How you say hello? See ya. See ya. Oh, it's like goodbye. <laughs> see ya. See ya. See you. Yeah. In America, you say see you later, like goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's easy to remember. Nice. What up, guys? Where are you guys from? Budapest. We're, we're drinking some Budapest stuff here. We want to try it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Good? Awesome. Thank you. Where are you from, guys? Uh, New York. And wow. Florida, the United States. Awesome. We're, we're with a band that's playing tomorrow at the festival. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you guys going to the festival? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Definitely not. Come see us. It's called Coheed and Cambria. It's rock music. You like rock? Not really. I Electronic, mean, probably, right? I, no? Hip-hop. We're going uh, to Post Malone. We like Post Malone. I like Post Malone. Brace yeah. yourself. Yeah. Is it? Really? Brace yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Down the hatch. The locals are saying, brace yourself. Uh, <laughs> let me keep. Can you tell me if you like that? Brace yourself. <clears throat> okay, well, that's supposed to sit. How's it? It's good. <laughs> good. Here we go again, round two. So, <clears throat> just was out there a little bit, showered up, changed, got the Travis Scott jump off on, you know what I'm saying, just trying to represent. Going to meet LJ, my man Little John, hates the camera. Um, I don't know what, I'm gonna get some goulash. Crazy guys, is the prices here? Teddy, we're coming back. I hope you like this vlog enough to wanna come back here, because I'm gonna spend some time in the crazy fucking city. And the beauty is, in this beautiful, crazy hotel, it's like 110 American dollars a night. Like, it's it's incredible. How are you? It's incredible how the money, we'll come out here and stay for like a month though. Uh, all right, let's find my friends. More cameras. <laughs> There's Mark and LJ. All right, guys, it's just me, your friend with the camera pointing at himself. <laughs> There's my friends. Am I gonna be part of this thing? You don't have. I can I shoot? That's amazing, dude. Yeah. Did you make that? Yeah. You did. That's I so did. funny. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Get me still. Get me still. I'll get one. I'll get one. I'll get nice. Get one. From here? I do. I do. Okay. Oh I'll shit. Nice. Take it easy. It's just crazy to me. There's just. Can we go cop? Yeah. They're festival. Were you at the festival? Fest. Festival? You English or no? Fe you are a YouTuber. Yes. Me too. No. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, in uh, America. Three. Oh, it's how heavy. One hundred fifteen thousand. Pretty. How about you? Uh, <laughs> great. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> got us beat Teddy 257 my friends have left me talking to youtubers on the streets I'll have right now because I gotta go is this okay this is good okay thank you don't seem too thrilled to talk to you here. She wasn't that thrilled about this whole thing. Like, she's like sitting there making it. I think she's making mine. She's just working. And I'm like, so can I have one? And she's like, 10 minutes. Uh, so you want now? Take this one. And I was like, okay. Ooh, I won't eat the whole thing. It's very bready. Out here and hungry, saw one guy with a shirt off. I think it's okay. This thing I'm not eating anymore, so I'm gonna try and give it to a homeless guy. What if it just broke? It wasn't good. <laughs> No service, no one pays attention. Sometimes that happens in other countries. We're headed out. Hopefully we'll find a dive bar where they give you a little oh. service. Still, please, yes. Americans always want still? Yeah, thank you very Thank much. you very much. Are you going to the festival? No. No? <laughs> Tipping, so what is this like a, just have it. Is that a lot of money? A little money? A little. 
Very little. I don't know. See, I don't understand the money. I, I'll give you more. Hold on. How about this one? That's very little, too. Yeah. That's well, very. That's the, the, bigger, the bigger the coin, the smaller the denomination. <laughs> what? Where's that coming from? Yeah, man. Where are you from? In Canada. Oh, cool. We're from New York and California. And are you here for the festival? No, no, I'm just passing through, just traveling through Europe. This looks hole in the wall to me. This looks authentic. First thing in the window is an H and M bag. Maybe it's not as authentic as. Oh yeah, it is. This is great. All right, we hit up a bar. There was a pregnant woman drinking and smoking. It was really weird. See ya. Hi, see ya. Hi. Where are you from? Here. Oh, nice. Yeah. We'll see ya. Did I sound like I'm from here? Uh, yeah, it was very good. Thank it you. Was very good. <laughs> Curse him. You're very welcome. See you, Hashem. All right. Bye bye. Pretty much fluent at this point. Here I am in Budapest, Hungary. Beautiful country. Speaking fluently. At, um, what was I just gonna say? Oh my God. Yeah. How weird was that? Like straight pregnant in a bar, drinking away. Like, like she was talking to us at the bar for a while and like was underneath the bar. And when she turned sideways, holy shit. And then when we left, she was on the curb, like wasted smoking. Still, it's different. Different in some of these places. Oh, look at the police sign. See ya. See ya. Oh, bar. Another bar. This place looks fun. What is this? See ya. Hello. This looks like a cool bar too, dude. Now, now we're getting into, the, getting into the interesting area of town. I want a shot of that booze, and I don't know what it's called. Blue tomato. Hold on. Yeah, it's $4 for two shots. Yeah, dude, that's insane. We're about to cop a bottle. But if it smells but like it, it also clean your carburetor. It, it does. Cheers. LJ, our tour guide. LJ knows every city. He's never been to Budapest, but he still seems to know his way around. <laughs> See ya. Out of the subways, into the streets. We're out here. See ya. But I like your socks and the whole, the whole, the whole fit and the donut. <laughs> she had Pringles socks on, dude. The Coca-Cola T-shirt and the red moped to match. You? Nice. Me too. Me too. Me too. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's oh, Teddy. Hey. Teddy and me, and we. I'm traveling, and he's home right now doing a lot. Of, he's an artist and stuff. What's up, everybody? It's Dirty Earth at D I R T. It's a cool place, you know. This is really cool. Bartender's hiding. Nobody wants to be in the video, but they're nice <laughs> enough to let me film. Budapest is awesome. That's tour, basically. This guy's playing shuttlecock. I wonder if they call it that in their language too. Oh, jeez. We're at the caravan, the street food caravan. I don't think this is it. Or wait, is this the bar though? I don't know. It was weird. Crazy out here. You don't know who's who. I just cop weed though, by the way. Just cop weed in the park from four kids getting drunk. Got this big ass beer. All these different bars behind me and stuff. This is crazy out here. My phone's ringing and my. <laughs> I don't trust her. She's got an ACDC shirt on. Do you listen to ACDC? No? Burger with bacon, yo. Oh shit. So yeah, we're getting badass burger with bacon. We are up in the Budapest. Where are we? Not tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna get goulash. I might even go golfing. Lenders dog. Put it in your mouth, bro. Another bar. Does this bar have food? You know I'm motivated by food. Does this bar have food? We don't know. I don't think well, it does. It's like a nightclub. Night. Can I pet them? No. Pet? Pet. Hi, buddy. I have two dogs at home. Come here. Oh, there he is. Awesome. The dogs don't speak English, bro. Oh, good boy. Oh, my goodness. You're a good boy. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. We met two dogs. And two people. And two people. Woo! Huh? 
I'm Gary! -a. Why are you looking at me? I got nothing to say. I've been drinking since, I don't know, cut back to the lot. Plus, I'm not even that big of a drinker. I've been drinking a lot. They have something called Unicum. Disgusting. I feel like puking in my throat. Not even that I'm that drunk just from the taste of that shit. Taking shots to be polite. Every bar I go to to visit for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys so you can see Budapest. And now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. I'm drunk. Are you blaming everyone for your drunkenness? Mm-hmm. And... Yo, we in the club district, and dudes are saying I gotta put my shirt on. I'm starting to feel like you don't. I'm starting to feel like this is like some rave shit. I'm gonna feel like people tell him. People. Hey, wait. I'm getting some speech. I'm waiting here. Don't worry. I just wait for him. Thank you. All right, let's leave. <laughs> let's go. I probably have put my shirt on. And what? We thought that was the door, and we thought this was the door. The actual door to the club is behind me, and there's a lot of security. And they Pretty look clearly me. stated. They look very serious. Let's cut back to Greek. It's got very minimal sauce, but deliciously herbed cheese. It's really cheesy. A lot of herbs. I really like it. Nice. I'm gonna give it like a solid eight. Nice. I might have, he she's does. Ta she's talking to him. How do you know she looked at me? He What's has your a name? cigarette in his hand. Give him another lighter. No name? You're gonna take our lighter, but you're not gonna tell me your name. That's fucked up. It's okay. Yep. Thank you. Fuck you. Fuck you.